Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ English. Recently, the Union Government of State for Science and Technology launched India's first indigenous CRISPR-based gene therapy for curing the genetic disease called sickle cell disease and it has been named as Birsa 101. The therapy has been named after Bhagwan Birsa Munda, the great tribal freedom fighter from India as his 150th anniversary was recently also observed. And now, if you remember in 2020, when the Nobel Prizes were being given, CRISPR, CAS9, Gene editing technology was big time in the news because the Nobel Prize for Chemistry was awarded exactly for this innovation. And now let's quickly see what has the Indian government created and how will it help so many tribal communities in India to overcome this chronic lifelong threatening disease called sickle cell disease. Now looking at Birsa 101, it is India's first indigenously Indian made CRISPR-based gene therapy designed to treat sickle cell disease, which disproportionately impacts India's tribal population, mostly in central and eastern India. And it is quite in line with India's broader vision, that is, sickle cell-free India by 2047, the same time in which India also plans to become the Viksit Bharat, the developed India. At the same time, it is also in line with Atmanirbhar Bharat, becoming self-reliant, when it comes to various defense, agriculture or even medical, vaccine, drug manufacturing domains. Now do remember India is also the pharmacy of the global south. And today by creating indigenous gene editing therapy, India has once again proven that soon we are going to become totally Atmanirbhar that is self-reliant in various complex medical technologies. Now let's remember this Technique has been developed by CSIR, Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology, the IGIB. How will it really help us and what is the technique all about? Looking at Birsa 101, yes, it utilizes CRISPR-CAS9 gene editing to correct genetic mutation causing sickle cell disease. The technology works like a precise genetic surgery which is capable not only of curing sickle cell disease but also many other genetic disorders plus many other dangerous non-communicable diseases like various kinds of cancers. At the same time, it will also open up the procedure for precisely, dedicatedly, in a targeted way correcting the mutations in genetic code that cause the disease itself. Therefore, the therapy needs to be given as only a one-time infusion. Now, the best thing about the therapy is that it doesn't require multiple sessions. It's very, very accessible because it's only one-time infusion. Once given to the patient, the body should start producing normal red blood cells naturally. So, RBC production will become normal and the body will then not make any more sickle-shaped cells. So, when the body makes sickle-shaped red blood cells, they are the root cause behind the disease that deprives the body of hemoglobin. Now, looking at CRISPR technology, the same thing which was awarded the Nobel Prize for Chemistry back in 2020 is actually an abbreviated form for clustered, regularly interspaced, short palindromic repeats. A genome editing tool that enables doctors, scientists to cut modify DNA sequences in a very precise targeted way. It involves broadly two main modules. One is the guide RNA that is able to find and therefore bind specific parts of targeted genome and second is the scissor itself, the molecular scissor. That's the great innovation that will help scientists to cut two strands of DNA, thereby making desired modification in the targeted cell. Exactly what is needed to teach the body to now make newer normal cells. So now talking about the sickle cell disease. Yes, it is a genetic disorder that targets or impacts the hemoglobin, the molecule in red, in red blood cells that is responsible for carrying oxygen in the body. Now, whenever we talk about hemoglobin, do remember for GS paper 2, we have spoken in detail about how according to National Family Health Survey, 
more than 57% Indian women are also victims of chronic anemia, a lack of deficiency of hemoglobin, a lack of iron in the blood. So that also relates to the same issue, hemoglobin. Here in the case of sickle cell disease also, it is the hemoglobin that gets impacted and the disease causes RBCs to become hard, extremely rigid as you can see in the image here and acquire a sickle shape. This leads to blockages in the blood flow. Ultimately, it could also lead to organ failure. It is caused by a gene mutation that affects the oxygen carrying protein hemoglobin and it's a lifelong condition. It has no known cure. It can only be managed sometimes through a very difficult procedure, blood transfusion. And that's the last resort for most of the patients. It particularly affects India's tribal population. For example, one in 86 births among the tribal communities and many tribal communities is associated with SCD. That's the sickle cell disease. So therefore, the government is saying not only shall we make this technology highly affordable at a very less price as compared to CRISPR therapies available the world over. We will make it highly accessible, create avid awareness campaigns, ultimately making sure that tribal communities, particularly in central and eastern India, will definitely benefit from this great innovation. And now a quick question on the topic with reference to Birsa 101, India's first indigenous CRISPR-based gene therapy. Look at the following statements. One, the Birsa 101 is named after tribal leader Bhagwan Birsa Munda and aims to treat the sickle cell disease by correcting underlying genetic mutations. Two, the therapy involves multiple gene editing sessions over a period of time to slowly, gradually restore normal RBCs. And three, it is developed by CSIR, Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology. Birsa 101 is more affordable than similar CRISPR therapies available in other countries. Which of these statements do you think is our valid? You can let us know in the comment box. If you have a non-political, UPSC relevant perspective on the topic, please feel free to share. The idea is just to learn, to exchange ideas and to make sure we cross-link current affairs for longer term retention. And our quick announcement about 2027 UPSC exam. For those who are targeting 2027, yes, we have time, but only to utilize, not to waste. So make a wise decision today and do consider a great course that can offer you all GS topics 1, 2, 3, 4, one optional at a heavily discounted price, essay writing, answer writing, CSAT, GS1, current affairs, everything, plus one-on-one -on -one mentor support. All that valid for more than 15 months if you pay a humble price of 29.99 to enroll for the course use code SPLIVE because admissions are closing 25th November. Exactly same, the great GS Foundation P2I sale for 2028 UPSC target year. Very affordable price, all language mediums, Hindi, English, Hin English included, morning, evening, weekend batches, one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Do contact us by filling a form that's available here in the description box or else enroll for the sale by one click. Use code SPLIVE because admissions are closing 25th November. So thank you so much.